Certainly really important to be around someone like that because that helps shape uh, your abilities to make good decisions too. Referees for tonight, Hughes Starkey, Nathan Davis, and Logan Bilby. The tip is up, and here's McDell White. You can hear her calling the play on the floor already. Stop and pop for Perini. Rolls in, and there's the first points for the fire. Looking inside Perini. Back out to the perimeter now. She'll step back, fire three, and hit. Michaela Perini. With all five for Townsville, they're up four. Uh, uh, under her belt, I should say, with West Coast Waves, Adelaide Lightning, and Perth Lynx in the past. And she was also part of a very talented under-19. Loose ball recovered by Geelong. And again, going coast to coast to finish strong. Dakota Crichton, Geelong. Townsville now has numbers if they push. Reisinger enters it for Carey. There's the double team, swings it. Greeny three is up and splashes home. Three point lead for Townsville here early. Nice floater, a great finish there. Great patience on the floater. Jump shot for Jess McDowell, white hits. Neil Knight splits the defense. Tough finish. Crichton from the wing. Off, and Townsville doing a good job keeping Geelong to the perimeter. Good leak out there from Jenkins to finish a beautiful pass ahead from McDowell White. I like this injection of energy from Bond off the bench. She is tough to guard downhill. Big deep three there for Geelong. Uh, uh, Naya for Machot. Uh, that is. 24, with a massive three there. Vaughn just aggressive, forcing her way to the rim for the reverse. Western Australia. Tough catch, Crichton clears some space and finishes strong. She has been aggressive and impressive early. Ends up now with Carey. Out to Jess McDowell-White, fires a three, rattles it home. Jess McDowell White has the jump shot going here in the first quarter. Pitch and shoot. Who else? Michaela Perini, another three. Her th allergic to being inside there. Yeah, possibly, <laughs> but if it's still working for you from the outside, you just stick to. Great take and finish there for Geelong. The play opportunity. Must be a good feeling as well for Sienna McCumber, who's just come on for her first couple of minutes, getting a basket on great anticipation. And hopefully, I was hoping that that was going to be a basket, but maybe this time. Knights gather it over to McCumber, who missed the attempt, gets another go at it, and lays it home. The opposition a chance to catch up, and uh, Geelong's certainly capitalizing. Long jump shot. Falls for Kiara Foster. Geelong takes the one point lead. Marini, nice bounce pass. Petrie reverse layup is good. Miguel White calling the set for Townsville in the half court. Good take and finish by Lars with the left hand. Knights driving baseline, gets around the defender, goes up and reverse finish there from Alley Knights. Perry has it now at the free throw line, goes inside, Natoa finishes plus the foul for Sayas Natoa. Yeah, this, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Natoa was also nominated for Youth Player of the Year in NBL One North this season. Core player, but certainly has great ability to handle the ball, has really good vision, can shoot the ball as well. And uh, really happy for her to get this opportunity. Another player, though. I wouldn't be surprised if Dakota finds herself as a DP this season. Reisinger missed the three. Carey comes up with the loose ball and puts it home. And here is Myers. Early kick ahead. Nice aggressive take and finish there from Tennille Knight. Myers reversal now. Gets it back inside and lays it home. A great look from Spear. They have bond another player we're familiar with from NBL One North uh, with Kant as Machot gets inside and there's that set you were looking for. Yeah, that was great execution from Geelong. Lovely. 
really nice basket for Geelong. Three-point lead for United. As Natella at the wing fires a three and hits, ties the game at 33. Foster missed the bunny. Oh, yeah, I think uh, you just, when you find yourself so close and then you're used to shooting a far away, it, that just happens like that. It's hard to adjust. But. Dakota Crichton, she's been fantastic for Geelong in this first half. Petrie going to work, goes to the left hand and finishes strong. Yeah, they breed them tough in the Petrie family, that's for sure. Correct. <laughs> And her sister is just about to uh, start her second season, I think, at college with Nebraska. And the pace hasn't really changed at all in this first half either, which I'm quite impressed with. Nice, beautiful look inside for Carey to finish. In the corner, they swing it to the top of the key. Crichton puts it on the floor, goes right at the defense, and she has finished well. Petrie in the high post goes inside. Excuse me, that was carry to Petrie. And Emma finishes with the right hand. Knights wasn't prepared for the pass. Perini tried to save it. It ends up with Geelong. Knights from the baseline hits the jump shot. Involved in everything for the fire. There's Crichton though. We showed her off at halftime. She picks up right where she left off. Ends up with Perini. Look at the ball movement from Townsville. Leads to Bond open in the corner, and she makes Geelong pay. That was beautiful. Excellent. Bond was just left wide open on that left side wing. Good drive and finish there for Geelong's Poppy Stevens. Stevens now. Gets it back. Gets around the defender. Scoops it up and in. Very nice finish there. Townsville going to reset and run some half-court offense. Marini picks up the dribble. Yeah, white corner three is good. That catch and shoot off the hand always looks so good from a leading scorer of this game and uh, certainly sticking to her strengths on the right-hand side. Big block by Machard. Falls and finishing your layups. Well, the final quarter is underway. It's Townsville with the first possession. Fades away. Short on the jumper. I like the way she was able to penetrate her patience. She plays like a point guard and she's built like a forward. Look inside. Great, strong catch there by Jenkins. A four point lead for the fire. Corner three is long for McCumber. Natella. Nice look inside, Jenkins finishes. And there is that vision I, we were talking about from Nutella. Lost it, recovers. Five on the shot clock, deep three. <laughs> Touches nothing but the bottom of the net. Here is Nice. Shot splits the defense, scoops it up and in a great finish. Times, you know, now on their side still being in the lead. I think they can afford to do things like that. Marini. I don't even know if that one touched the net. The finish. There's Marini again. It's a huge. Again, we talk about all the youth, but Marini is one of those veteran players who has that WNBL experience of shooters like that. Reisinger with a really nice stop and pop there. Finish for Townsville. They're up eight now. Was a wild one there from Spihar, but she gets it to drop. Pull away with this one. Yeah, Geelong really need to start stringing some stops together, I think. And I'd love to see them get back into that transition basketball, but that dime is going to be hard to beat from the Townsville Fire. And McDowell White. Reisinger looking inside Petrie. Great position. Kicks it out. Carry three is nice time Emma Petrie gets her hand on the ball. She is playing with such maturity this game. I'm not sure what she's been doing in between or when she, since she's come home from the, the World Cup earlier this year, but a bright future ahead of her. Because their mum also was a really tough competitor as well, playing for the Canberra Capitals back in the day. Another big three again from Stevens. She's been impressive as well. 
Yeah, she's up to now 13 points for this game, including five for here in the fourth quarter. Easy transition, best. Every time they get something going here, they're not able to really stack it up. Yeah, and I think that will just come with playing. So another possession for Geelong, trailing by eight. Here is Crichton. Top of the key three, touches the bottom of the net. A lot more confident and aggressive. I think they've actually become a little bit hesitant and passive in the last couple of minutes and in the third quarter. But uh... Of any player that I've seen play, she's always has her head up, always looking for that pass. And a uh, player that's uh, similar, Poppy Myers. <laughs> Dow White gets the screen from Carey, steps back, jump shot is true. And it looks like that's going to do it, Geelong. Going to let the clock run out in a very entertaining game. Townsville Fire pick up a six-point win, 78-72.